I got myself my jacket. Ah, what a beautiful day. It's cold though. Uh. We're on our way to the Publix in order to buy. Apparently, this is what you have to get. And it's marzipan slash almond paste. And it is deceptively small. Like I have a, I don't know, giant head, little forehead. But this looks much larger online. And this is not cheap for this tiny little thing. And through the magic power of editing, we are back home with all of the ingredients. We are short one ingredient. I don't drink rums, I don't have any rum, so I have to go to the liquor store and I was told that it has to be, what, nice rum? High quality. High quality rum. We are off our way, love you. Bye. And it's warmed up a little bit, so just rocking the, rocking the fit, Deadpool style. I find my keys, I'll mess today, I'll mess today. Okay. We are getting set up here, I got my apron on, and we're gonna begin making our stolen bread with homemade citrus candy peels. And we are using navel oranges, limes, and lemons. No chef, I burn water. Ooh. So we're gonna be turning all of this into these. So by the magic power of camera. And next up is we are going to be boiling these for about 15 minutes to get rid of some of that bitterness out of them to pull out some of the citrusy, you know, sweet flavors to it. We got some water. I'm gonna add that in first. And to candy fine, we need a whole bunch of sugar, just like my pretty wife. All right, we got it to a boil. Doing this very carefully so I don't get myself burnt. All right, so here we go. We're making the candies, so I'm supposed to take a few of these, right? Mm-hmm. And drip excess through the slotted spoon, and then throw in here. We're doing here. You now we put them on the drying rack. Okay. So you're just gonna do that for the rest of the my life. Pot? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And voila! Look at that. These are beautiful. And you know they kind of taste like little candy gummies, right? Yeah. Right now, um, while they're still warm, they yeah. they taste like uh, little candy worms. Ca candy worms. Gummy yeah. Worms, yeah. We have allowed the little candies to harden and they, they hardened pretty good, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Did you know raisins are grapes? Mm. And what happens after grapes? Wine. <laughs> my, fav my favorite time. Is it wine 30 yet? So now we're gonna mix it with this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Half cup of rum. <laughs> Woo -hoo! And we're gonna allow the candy peels and the raisins to soak up all of the rum and they are gonna go into the bread. Uh, kitchen aid bowl here. Someone bought that for my wife because they love her very much. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Is that not the one I bought you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Until you gave me that look. It was, it was the, and now I have to zest the lemon. We did the mixy mix. Do you wanna eat this? I don't, but thank you. You like raw cookie dough. Oh, I, t I totally do, I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Day after Thanksgiving, you're like a hard I, new. Yeah, I just, yeah. Okay. So then you wanna make sure this is locked and- Oh, tricks of the trade. Roll it around. And then we're gonna lightly cover it in saran. Saran. Perfect. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah, that was, that was. Woo. We're gonna let it rise for about an hour. And we're back. So we're gonna drain off the delicioso rum into my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. And I gotta punch this to get rid of the air. I'm gonna get, you know, this is a little, another little trick for you people out there, you mm -hmm. bloggers. Mm -hmm. Or just all you crazies that follow our channel. Get a little of this on your guy here. And you punch! Yeah. Like that. That's... Yep. Okay. Now, we're gonna get these guys 
Just one last little shake. Ooh, smell that, smell that, smell that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's like you could just take a spoon and yeah. just eat it out of the bowl. No <laughs> need for the bread. No need for the bread. We're done with you, bread. Yeah. And we're gonna crank this baby up. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! <laughs> that was a little, that was Maybe a little yeah. Did it come up at me? It was a little crazy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna let yep. that go for five to Just, seven minutes. Yep. And then uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna start working on the marzipan. Got everything set up here from when we added on with the amazing KitchenAid mm -hmm. that I did not buy my wife. <laughs> and we're gonna take this out of this guy. It's kind of easier to flop it on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we're gonna put this one here. And I'm do that. Get a little flour on it, right? She's a professional baker. They don't actually have marzipan. I looked at the packaging, it's almond paste, so I lied to you. I'm sorry. Like when you're little. Play-Doh, Play Play yeah. Play it's like mirror Play-Doh. All right, so then we take one side over. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the other side over. I will probably let my wife decorate it because she is the expert and I'm the noob. So then we will do the other one as well. And we're going to let these rise again for another 40, 45 minutes or so. Stolen. <laughs> like you stolen. No, wrong stolen. So we have our traditional stolen here. So a couple of things before we put it in the oven. Uh, we did let it second rise for about 50 minutes or so. And we picked out as many of the raisins off of the outside edges because apparently they burn very, very easy. So we tried to pluck them out uh, or shove them in as far as possible. And then we created the traditional stolen edge where I guess you kind of smack it in here a little bit and, and give it that nice little uh, hump at the top. And we are now gonna bake it at 350 for around 40 minutes. Start, and we're off. It's go time. Woo, we don't wanna let it burn. Ah, still have to oh, I'm such a wuss. Oh, yes. Okay, so. Yeah, they can't smell it. Mm. But, mm. You can smell all the amazing spices and, and the rum. And the rum. <laughs> Not really. And that fresh baked bread smell. Right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this cool for five minutes. Set that timer for five minutes. Okay, and we poke holes, lots of holes. This is gonna allow the butter to get down in there. Mm -hmm. ah! That should be good. The more holes, the more butter can seep down into the bread. And over uh, several weeks, it can what is called ripen and the uh, it will actually take on more of a harder type of crust and uh, not biscotti like but but sort of a harder type of uh, of a crisp or a crust and so sometimes when people are eating this they like to put it in the microwave prior if you let it ripen for a little while just to kind of warm it up and make the crust um, more of a crumb yeah, so it, this was originally for like dipping in coffees and teas, right? I think is the history kind of we saw behind it. Um, so we we had been doing a little bit of history as to why there was that iconic hump here in the bread, and we were uh, the history we had read. Some of it was in that prior to uh, them allowing butter and. Um, and milk because of the Catholics right? because of the Catholic Church yeah. that the Pope would not allow butter and milk and that they needed to uh, basically the way that the bread came out was that however there were also a uh, legend of miners at some time in the 1300s in which they would uh, the the characteristic hump of the stolen bread was to take shape of the mining and all of the fun additions uh, were sort of like the jewels in which they were mining. So we're gonna cut this open and see what the inside looks like. I kinda just wanna go right in the middle. Do it, do it. I know that's like wrong, but. There's it's just, it's just nothing us. wrong about this. So open Hopefully. it up, let's just see. Oh, 
we got all the nooks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. That looks uh that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. I wish mm. you could smell it. I, you know, for fear of using a word that most people get cringed out by, but it genuinely looks so moist. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. So, can we see where the marzipan is? I think it's right there. Mmm. Okay. All I'm, right. You're on a fork. Let's do this. I. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see. It. Yeah. Oh, God. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, crypto is not the uh, he he he's not a picky eater, but pretty dang picky. And uh, if he's saying it's good, it's good. All right. Well, I think I have going that. for a marzipan bite. I, I think marzipan bite. Oh, that's oh crap. yeah. Oh, that's crap. oh, that looks that looks. You have. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes that you are genuinely enjoying this bread. It was made with love. It was. it was. It was. So, we again, had a good time. We had a good time making it. We did. So, thank you, everybody. Uh, we appreciate it. It's our first time ever doing something like this. It was a lot of fun. Um, so again. Appreciate your support uh, throughout the year. It's been an amazing year for us. And uh, I want to thank Una for everything that he does. Um, I don't think you guys realize how much he does. So uh, um, we're doing this after Thanksgiving and, you know, in, in spirit of Christmas and everything. So uh, love you guys and thank you for everything. Appreciate it. I love my wife. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh, this would not have been possible. I think it tastes so good because of the love put into it. Oh. Um, <laughs> And I wish you could be here to taste it because it is delicious. Yeah. So, peace.